Welcome Wildcats to another episode of Run Hard, Turn Left. I'm your host, Nicori Bailey. Make sure you stick around to see what we have in store for you this week, only on Run Hard, Turn Left. Run Hard, Turn Left. Run Hard, Turn Left. Take a look inside the meet as our Wildcats head to Jacksonville, Florida for the UNF Spring Break Invitational. Let's catch up with Erica and Namdi as they share some of the things they do off the track. My name is Erica Dickens. My name is Namdi Davis. This is off track. Off topic. I think the most embarrassing moment was um, all over two hurdles at the same time. I was warming up for a track meet. I forget what meet, and I was hurling. And I tried to stop before the hurdle, and I fell before the hurdle. I got slipped. I think my favorite track memory was, so far, I was getting second place in MEAC. My favorite track memory is when we won outdoor MEAC for the first time. Coach Cooper. One of my toughest coaches is Coach Cooper himself. He'll give you any workout, any day, any weather, any time. Jordan. Jordan. My pet peeves. Cause I hate repetitiveness. I don't like people that play so much. So I hate when people do stuff over and over and over again. Stop playing all the time. And I hate being asked the same question more than once. <laughs> and I don't like liars. And I don't, I can go all day. <laughs> Let's catch up with Jaquel Phillip to see if he mastered throwing the discus. This is behind the track and we're going to learn a little bit about discus. So we're here with Desiree Richardson. So tell us a little bit what's going on today. So today we're working on discus, just making sure that we get our feet down and making sure that we turn our hand over so that the discus can travel further. You guys miss us doing power throws, but as of right now we're doing half turns, just making sure that we snap our back foot down. All right, so warm me up now. So what I gotta get my shoulders straight. What I, what yeah. I gotta do? Make sure your your arms are warmed up, your legs is warmed up, because you have to use your whole body to do this. As far as making sure that your core is tight when you're coming around, 
Um, there's a difference between the men's discus and the women's discus. Women's discus is smaller than the men's. This is the one that... I think I might need a women's. <laughs> this is the women's discus and the men's discus is right here. Dope. So you... I throw it like a frisbee. What no, you I don't do? throw it like a frisbee. But you'll see Barry Kimbrough, which is our male thrower, throw this one. And you'll see me, Desiree Richardson, and Alana Rivera throw this one. Okay, we're just gonna watch you, you know, show me how it's done. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this and you know you come around and hold it and you just work on making sure that your hand comes down flat just throw it y'all ready all right here it goes and there you go you're just throwing it up. How many yards is that, Mike? He said, yeah. <laughs> no. About 30 feet? 40 feet. So this is Barry. This is... What's up, man? He can... Just do my distance. Can you get a slide? Go get that. <laughs> <laughs> get stronger? Um, it's not really about getting stronger. It's just making sure that you have a good core and making sure that you're able to keep it tight and that you you have strong legs and strong arms. But as far as like strengthening exercise that we do, like the, the wood stick or the PCP pipe will hold in our arms just to work on keeping balance and making sure that we have our technique down. That so, idea? yeah. So, oh. this is, uh, exercise that we will do as far as working on turns, making sure that our feet gets down and that we keep in balance. So that is, that's like one. cross that Jesus. Yeah. So that is, that is one exercise that we'll do. But as far as everything else, we'll usually throw with the discus in our hand, making sure that we're having good technique, good speed. A little bit. I think I've learned a, a thing or two about that nice thing here. Y'all scared? Y'all scared? Y'all like y'all scared for y'all lives? You've seen it in a professional distance and all yourself too. Well, we're learning behind the track with my favorite people, the grow again. Whoop whoop. Throwers. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Until next time. And last but not least, meet our special guest, Ricky Brown. Welcome to the show. Glad we can have you on the show, man. All right, thanks for having me. All right, so let's start off. Um, this is your final season, you know, as a runner for Bethune Cutman University. How does it feel so far? Uh, it's bittersweet because, you know, I'm, I'm ready to leave out of here, but at the same time, I'm going to miss it. Just like uh, coming out of high school, uh, I was ready to head to college, and now it's like you look back at all, the, all what you've done uh, the previous years, and you just you know you're going to miss it. You've almost been used as a hybrid since you've been here um, as a multi, you know, kind of guy now. Um, what type of training does that take to, you know, to kind of master those other events as well? Uh, well, coming out of high school, I pretty much did just about every event. So I just, once I got to college, I did the same. I never really changed anything up. I kept doing the same you know, routines, but of course it got a whole lot more intense. So. This past weekend, you set a personal best in uh, 1500, running under four minutes, you know, 355. Um, what type of momentum and confidence is that, you know, safe for you for this season going to the outdoor? Oh, that's just, that, that pretty much tells me that I'm stronger this season. Well, it lets me know that I'm ready. I'm ready to kill something in uh, 800, which is my uh, main, main event. So, Speaking of strong, you really do look good out there. This really strong this year. Um, what type of training or what type of things that you all are doing differently or what the coaches are doing that's kind of putting you at this elite level? I wouldn't say uh, the coaches are doing anything different. I would say that it's more uh, my mentality. Uh, it's on me, really. It's like I had to just crack down and uh, do the workouts harder, do uh, 
practice harder, you know. It's, it's just me working on myself, pretty much. Um, we have Florida Relays coming up. Um, are you opening for that? No, 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 I'm not. I'm working on um, opening up uh, next week. So can we see, you know, expect a 151, 150? What can we expect? Uh, honestly, I'm trying to go under 150. That's my goal, and uh, I feel like I'm ready to hit it. Well, I think we, I think you said it all right there. Well, thank you for being on the show. Um, that's all we have for you guys today. So see you next time on Run Hard, Turn Left.